नमस्कार मैं सिर्फ डॉक्टर त्रिशान हूँ आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई एम डी फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर रेनफॉल इन्फॉर्मेशन वेयर शॉर्डास्ट एंड कच रीजन हैज बिन गिवन रेड कलर एंड यू कैन सी द शॉर्डास्ट कच रीजन सिक्स सेवन स्टेशन रिसीव द एक्सट्रीमली हेवी रेनफॉल एंड फाइव स्टेशन रिसीव सिक्स स्टेशन रिसीव द very heavy rainfall over the shortest and kutch region apart from that you can see the northern uh, north indian state punjab haryana uttarakhand as well as odisha gujarat madhya maharashtra south interior karnataka coastal karnataka and kerala all these state receive heavy rainfall during the last 24 hours so now talking about the today synoptic system as you can see the deep depression of the shoraast and kutch area is presently lying over the same area and it would further intensify into a cyclonic storm during the next 24 hour over the east central uh, over the northeastern arabian sea and further it will move toward the northwest arabian sea during the next uh, 48 hours and if you see another low pressure area has been formed over the central and adjoining north bay of bengal and uh, this system will further move toward the north of andhra pradesh coast and the south of the urissa coast during the next uh, subsequent 48 hours and during the passing of uh, through this uh, south urissa and north uh, um, andhra pradesh it would further intensify into a depression uh, within the next two days and if you to see the uh, the monsoon trough it is passing from the deep depression over the western coast of india uh, the, over the shoraast and kutch it comes down up to the bay of bengal a low pressure area through the station udaipur ship puri sidhi ambikapur and puri and if we talk about the uh, the uh, offshore trough it is now passing from the gujarat coast up to the north of kerala coast and also there is a western disturbance as a, as a trough at the mid tropospheric level over the pakistan and adjoining north west of india and if we uh, already mentioned that the deep depression over the shoraast and kutch likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm over northeast arabian sea on 30th of august and under the influence of this system extremely heavy rain very likely to continue at isolated places of shoraast and kutch region for today and uh, there is a possibility that the rainfall will decrease thereafter and also another low pressure area already mentioned that formed over the central and adjoining north bay of bengal and under the influence of this system very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall likely over odisha coastal karnataka kerala mahe heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over north coastal andhra pradesh chatisgarh vidarbha and telangana during next 2 to 3 days so now if we talk about the weather warning for the next 7 days you can see this is the warning for 29th of august that is for today red warning has been issued for the extremely heavy rainfall for the shoraast and kutch for today as well and apart from that you can see over the east coast as i already mentioned there is a uh, formation of the low pressure area over the bay of bengal under the influence of these systems uh, there is a possibilities of very heavy rainfall over the odisha as well as the south interior karnataka coastal karnataka and kerala for today and you can see over the northeastern state except arunachal pradesh as well as the coastal andhra pradesh telangana and uh, uh, the uh, north interior karnataka and konkan and goa region that region may and also the andaman and nicobar all this region may uh, it is very likely that those region are likely to receive the heavy rainfall activity for today and also you can see over the north uh, uh, north indian states like jammu kashmir punjab himachal pradesh uttarakhand and haryana also we have given the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity for today now moving further and talking about the rainfall warning for the 30 and 31st of august you can see the red warning has been issued for the odisha as well as the coastal karnataka for the extremely heavy rainfall and orange warning has been issued for the adjoining state like coastal andhra pradesh telangana south interior karnataka kerala as well as for the shoraast and kutch region and if you see the east india north east india specifically the um, uh, nagaland mizoram manipur and tripura has been given the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity and if you see the north indian state like uttarakhand has been given the yellow warning for heavy rainfall activity and also the state like chatisgarh then uh, the vidarbha and uh, already i mentioned the south interior karnataka and uh, konkan goa those region has been given the yellow warning for heavy rainfall activity including the andaman and nicobar island and if you talk about the 31st august the warning you can see clearly the whole east coast of 
the India has been issued the orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity, including the state Bidarbha, uh, region Bidarbha, as well as the north interior Karnataka and coastal Karnataka. And if we move further and talking about the warning for the first, second, and third and fourth of September, you can see the uh, the orange warning for the very heavy rainfall has been issued for the Bidarbha as well as the Telangana region and apart from this all other state covered by the yellow color has been given the heavy rainfall warning. Similarly you can see on second the complete North India as well as the West India and the Central India has been given the heavy rainfall related yellow warning and over the West Coast, specifically the Gujarat region, then Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan and Goa has been issued the orange warning for the very heavy rainfall on 2nd of September. Now if you move further and see the warning for the 3rd and 4th of September, you can see entire West Coast, entire West India has been given the yellow warning including the Central India and also the similar uh, yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity has been issued for the Northeast Indian state. Similarly, on 4th of September also, the state like uh, 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 eastern part of the Rajasthan as well as the Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan Goa and coastal Andhra Pradesh and also the northeastern state all the state has been given the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity on 4th of September. Now if we talk about the fisherman warning, you can see the fisherman warning has been issued for the Gujarat coast along and off of Gujarat coast for today as well as if you see the tomorrow the warning level further increase after the squally gale wind speed up to 65 to 75 kmph and gusting to 85 and if you move further and see the warning for 31st of August and uh, uh, 31st of August you can see the similar warning like the 30 has been issued for day 3 as well as that is, that is for the 31st of August and if you see on day 4 and 5 that is for the 1st of September and 2nd of September over the west coast the warning level has been uh, reduced after the squally wind speed 35-45 kmph gusting to 55. Now if we talk about the east coast of India you can see the east coast the warning level has gradually increased uh, due to the low pressure area that is formed over the Bay of Bengal and the squally wind speed has been issued uh, warning has been issued up to the 45-55 gusting to 65 kmph so therefore the fishermen are advised not to venture over those area during this period so that's all for today please visit our mossom website for all weather related latest update and also follow us in twitter facebook instagram and youtube thank you very much for watching us